Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to fix a ruined portal like we have right there behind me. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell notification icon for notifications of my new videos. And to find more Minecraft videos, take a look at my channel. Okay, let's get to it. These ruined portals are just like any other portal in the game. They just need to be fixed and finished. And there's not much to actually do there. But you will need a few things to be prepared for this. First off, make sure you have some more obsidian. Depending upon the portal and how bad it is, you'll need to have, you know, four, five, six, eight obsidians. Also make sure you have a flint and steel with you as well. Now aside from that, once you go through the portal, you'll of course be going into a new place in the nether, so you want to be prepared there. Make sure you have all of your armor on so you're all set to go. Make sure you have a nice sword with you as well. And then to fix the portal, you're going to have to have a diamond pickaxe to actually get rid of anything that you don't need in there and also work with other blocks as well. And of course, you may want to have some torches along with you and some building materials, stone bricks, stone brick wall, other bricks and walls, whatever just so you can have some building materials so you can build defenses right away. And I'll switch over into survival mode so you can see how this is actually done. Okay, the very first thing that you need to do when you're in survival mode and you're here with one of these room portals is to take down your coordinates. So just pick a block right in front of the portal, like I'll pick this one right here, hit the F3 key, and this brings up your coordinates, and then write down your current coordinates. Take a look at the block coordinates and write those coordinates down. And the reason for that is that the portal, when you get into the nether, that's going to be at a different LinkedIn location than this portal. That's just the way that Minecraft works. These portals don't link up properly. I have a video on how to link up your portals properly, and I'll put a link for that in the description, but it's not going to bring you back to this portal again. So make sure that you take down those coordinates, and then when you're back in the overworld here, you can teleport back to these coordinates. And that's just using the forward slash and the TP command right there and then typing in your coordinates. Okay, next thing you want to do, just take a look around, see what you have. Let's take a look inside this chest. And there are two obsidian there. That's very good. We can use those possibly. I have enough though, so I don't need those, but they are there to be used. If you go over here, you'll see that there's more obsidian in the back there. So there's a bit of obsidian already here. It's most likely not going to be enough to repair the portal. So you may have to come back when you have some other obsidian and ready to go. Let's now fix this thing. So take my diamond pickaxe and the first thing you want to do is to take out this crying obsidian right here. Now, Whenever you find this stuff you're going to want to grab it and hang on to it. That's because this stuff can be used to make respawn anchors inside of the nether. Very very important one to have. So get as much of this as you possibly can. You're going to be needing four of those per respawn anchor. So there's two here already. Now they're pretty slow as you can see. It's just like mining obsidian. It's not a fast process and you have to have that diamond or better pickaxe to do this, but they will come out and there we go. Okay, let's just see if we can find where that one went off to. There it is. Now at this point, this is just a regular portal and it just needs to be finished off. So I'll just put in some blocks like that and let's finish off the top up here. There we go. So it's now just a regular portal. You can see it right there. Of course, we now need to light this thing on. We need to activate it, and that's using that flint and steel. I find clicking right over here usually works pretty well. There we go. Let's now grab your diamond sword, and when you go through the portal, just go just that far. Just step into it and see where you're at. Now, I've already been through here, and I built that platform there, so I'm going to turn around and go the other direction. And I'll show you why in just a second. So here we are inside of the nether. And this has placed me into one of these basalt deltas. And there's really not a whole lot inside here that's at all useful. Now the reason why I stopped and didn't just go straight through is for this. This portal actually came in right at the edge of a cliff. So I came through here before and I put all this stuff in so I could then walk out and look around. So be very careful about that. When you're first coming in, just stop in the portal, look to both sides, and then pick this up that looks like it's safe to go through. Now in here, you have two problems to worry about. You have those guys right there. They're going to be causing you a bit of a problem. Get rid of that. There we are. Okay, so be careful about those. And also, you will have ghasts in here as well. I'm not seeing any right now. I think we're safe from that. But those are also in here. 
If you happen to land inside of one of these basalt deltas, what you need to do is just to get out of it. I mean, there's nothing in here really worthwhile, and this one will be mining a lot of this basalt, which is interesting. And be very careful when you're cutting blocks in here, because there are lots of these lava pools around just like that. They're all over the place, so it's very easy to cut a block and then have a lava pool begin to pour lava on you. So don't do any cutting unless you really need to. Let's just get back out of here and back over again. And there we go. Now that big pillar back there, that's my original spawn point. When I came into this game, I just put a pillar right there so I had that. So you're not going to find that the portals link up properly. Now I have a video about how to link portals, and you'll find a link for that in the description if you want to go ahead and figure out that whole thing out. Just keep in mind that you will come back to someplace else, not back to that portal. That's why I said that you needed to write down those coordinates. You may also want to write down these coordinates here. Let's just pick this block right there and bring up the F3 key again. And you can then write down these coordinates as well. This one is at block negative 91, 66, and negative 10. So I can come back to this location as well in case you want to link this one up in the future. So make sure you get your coordinates and then you can use that keyboard shortcut. It's the TP keyboard shortcut. Of course, you're going to need to have cheats available in your game. If you don't have cheats, you won't be able to do this. So it's always good to start off your game with cheats just in case. And that's just type in our coordinates for that one and that's negative 1160 and 69 and 532 and that takes us back again to our fixed portal so there you go that's how you fix a portal really nothing to it all you just need is a bunch of obsidian make sure you take out and hang on to that crying obsidian you want that in case you're going to be making any respawn anchors in the nether and then just keep in mind you have no idea where you'll be when you go in and you also have no idea where you're going to be when you come back out again. So make sure that you write down those coordinates using that F3 keyboard shortcut. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. And check out my channel for more Minecraft videos. Okay, and I'll see you next time.